photoshopping Leo Laporte with not Photoshop. And taking Micah Sargent and making him look better. <laughs> it's coming up next on iOS Today. That's mean. <laughs> I'm mean. You look better. I'm mean. <laughs> Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Zapier. Zapier connects all your business software and handles the work for you, so you can focus on what matters most. Right now through November, go to zapier.com slash iOS for your free 14-day trial. And by Calm, the number one app to help reduce your stress, relax your mind, and help you sleep. Get 25% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash iOS today. <laughs> Yeah, iOS Today time. Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte on the left. <laughs> and Micah Sargent there on the right. Wait a minute. That's reversed. Leo on... I'm stage left. Northeast. Audience right. Yes. I'm on the northeast. Up, Thank you. Up, Actually, I'm on the southeast. You are upstage <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, this is iOS Today, and we are your presenters for the afternoon. Hello, and welcome to Hello. iOS Today. So, Micah had a cray-cray idea. What, what? He said, "Why don't we? Why don't we be creative on the show?" <laughs> now, didn't you do this with Megan, and you both did drawings and stuff? No. Okay, so Megan, Megan's episode was about learning new skills, ah. uh, and so I was talking about how you could use this app to learn how to draw a little bit better. Right. And then Megan was like, "I already know how to draw." So yeah, I, said, draw I saw a photo the picture she drew. <laughs> yeah, she's a great. So artist. I'm not a drawer. Okay. Nor am I a grammarian, uh, but I but I have tools in my shed. <laughs> and you're, yeah, okay. Uh, that I can use to take any photo mm -hmm. and make it look like I drawed it. Oh, so you're cheating. That's what some might call it. Mm -hmm. Others might call it creativity. <laughs> In this modern app-filled world, yeah. that is what we call so it. So I yeah. want to see what you're going to do with Procreate. All right. You said, you said, and we, and we didn't say, now originally my thought was, because you said, let's be creative with each other. Mm -hmm. And I was going to make a video game where you shoot Micah's head out of the sky. Mm -hmm. But I realized that would be cruel, mean, and a lot of work. <laughs> That's it's that last one that really is the thing, so, isn't it? <laughs> so um, I can do it on a computer, mm -hmm. like a PC or a Mac. <gasps> uh -oh, That's what easy. are you saying? I could. Well, I'll show you what I did. But that's easy. Mm -hmm. Doing it on an iPad is actually hard. Pro learning to program a high, an iPad takes a lot more work. Yes, it does. So instead, I'm just going to do the lazy way out. So what you're saying an app. is this thing right here can't replace your computer. No, actually, I think if you're a computer programmer, if you like coding, mm -hmm. it's, and this is, to me, the one thing that's keeping Apple from abandoning the Mac. Well, I mean, you could, you might say video editing, although you could do some pretty darn good video editing on this, and some people like the touch interface better. Mm -hmm. uh, you might say uh, photo, photo editing, like Photoshop, but Adobe's already said, we're putting Lightroom, full Lightroom and full Photoshop, and, and already there's good third-party apps from other companies that yes. are great. You, but I think coding is the one thing, and yes, you can write computer code on, a, on an iPad. There's some really great programs. We've shown them many times, including Swift Playgrounds, Pythonista, but, and of course, all the shortcut stuff. But I think if you're doing, uh, writing like a video game, mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to do it on an iPad yet. Apple may may eventually put out tools to do that. Yeah, their their fingers crossed for Xcode on on iOS. That's what, that's kind of what I think, that's, it, that's always been my benchmark. Until Xcode comes out for iOS... You'll still need Mac OS. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, so um, I am one of the folks who loves to do little um, photo manipulation jokes. So, <laughs> really? Yeah. So, like, I didn't know that about you. There'll be like a conversation taking place and then somebody says something funny that and sparks my mind to want to just like put together what I call Photoshop, but I'm not going to use Photoshop for this. It's kind of like memeing. Yeah, like memeing. So an example of this was one time a uh, friend of the show, Renee Ritchie, um, he was talking about how much he loves coffee to the point where he will, uh, what he said was free base coffee. <laughs> um, Ooh, can you do that? Because that sounds inter interesting. <laughs> interesting idea there. So I took his, because uh, he loves Bitmoji characters like I do. Yeah, yeah. So I took 
a couple of his bitmojis and <laughs> I edited together a, a bitmoji of him snorting coffee. Grounds. I want to see this. Uh, I so I don't. Uh, it's a bad. Oh, that you I can't it. tease us like that. See, I'm gonna have to find it. I, oh, we'll edit it into the show later. Okay, good. Look at this. It's amazing. Ding. <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. So. What I've got here, and I want to include... That's such a tease. What I've got here is... Oh, dear. When I first uh, was here in the studio, Leo took my phone, and he took this photo of himself... <laughs> what a mistake I made. ...and made it his contact photo. Oh, really? That's my contact That's, photo? That is, my, that is you. No wonder you contacts. never answer my calls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, chat out there, my question is, how would you like me to manipulate this photo? We want to take now. Now, let's be clear. Nice answers only. There won't be any. I have to say, uh, I gave you. I gave you a little gift there because that light over my shoulder mm -hmm. looks like just an empty space. It does. So a great place to put other things. It would know? be, but what I'm thinking I'm going to do is cut you out here. Oh, uh, just use my head. Yeah, and like. That's what I was going to do. I was going to put your head in a Space Invaders game. Okay. Yeah. So I'll show you that. Let's watch. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a cooking show where, where we haven't cooked done. anything. <laughs> okay, thought, thought bubble's too easy. I do like Van Gogh Leo. Let's see. Let's, oh. Let's go find. You're going to steal my thunder. So I want to show this live, like how the process okay. works for me. Because so I have an automated way to do this. We're talking and we're doing this. Um, oh, that's the real oh, Van Gogh. Yeah. That's Vincent. And did you know it's pronounced Van Gogh? No, Gach. 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 That's it's actually it. not even Gach. It's Hoch. Hach? Van Hoch. Oh, that's mine? Uh, wow. Oh, mine's already over there. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Talk about snorting caffeine. As soon as you said coffee, it appeared. That's amazing. You're better than Rene Ritchie. How did I do it? He's magic. So you're going to take a picture of Vincent. Yes. That's Van Hoch. That's really not, you know... A photo that did I ever tell you he's like my favorite painter of all time? Really? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna take that I have a now. Few, but he's certainly procreate is excellent for for many reasons. Procreate. So this is yes. the tool you used with Megan. Yeah. This is I think widely agreed to be the best uh, uh, free form drawing program on the Mac. On the drawing iOS. and also it's got some great tools for uh, layers and. Uh, Image masks. That's okay. the thing with this. Oh. Image masks are very important. Uh, so let's see. I'm actually going to go back here, and I'm just going to copy this photo, I think. My uh, copy. My aunt, who was an artist, used to have a bumper sticker that said, Gawk Van Gogh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so we'll take this uh, nice photo here of Van Gogh and oh. drop it in. And then we have to get a Dutch person on here because really layer. only somebody who speaks Dutch can pronounce. Have it you probably. ever seen that Van Gogh film of? Yes. Um, oh my amazing? God, it's amazing. Yeah. And right. in fact, uh, one of the things that at least and I like to do is look for museums, Van Gogh museums, and go uh, see them. And we've seen a number of them, and uh, I just love their stuff. She's a Picasso fan too, so we do the same thing with Picasso. Oh, I need to make that. What bigger. are you doing right now? I'm just going to take you you're and completely it? mask you out. Okay, okay? so you you're b making the the Van Gogh Van Gogh the pop out foreground here. Yeah. Yes. So we should describe this for those of you listening. Yes, yes, yes. That so is there's important. an image of me kind of acting goofy, and mm -hmm. then there's an image now of uh, Vincent of good old uh, that Vince. he painted of himself when he was in the asylum, which we visited, by the way, in Arles. Oh wow, France! Yeah, it's a very moving. <laughs> now, you, so I'm you've got two layers: one with me and one with Vincent. Yes, and, and now I'm you're erasing Vincent on top of my face. Yeah, I'm starting to repaint you into the photo. So this is uh, somehow going to uh, mix. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to take it. What are you doing? Okay, so now you got my head completely uh, freed. Freed, of uh, and you're rotating the... it to fit into Vincent's. Oh, so it is kind of like a little. Um, this is this boy. You can do it fast. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So if somebody says something like that. You could pop. Someone was like, "Oh yeah, Leo reminds me." Take of a Vincent picture. Van Gogh. Picture of them. Put it in layer one. Mm -hmm. Put a Van Gogh in layer two. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, then using the to. mask, you've, you're using the mask tool to kind of erase. Yeah. So in fact, I'm going to zoom in here. This is one of the strengths of it. You can also sometimes change the feathering or the overlay oh, yeah, to kind absolutely. of kind of make it a little bit less. Um, 
clean lines. Yeah. And also by pressing a little bit differently because I'm using oh, the that's Apple nice. Pencil. And the pencil really is good for this. Oh, yeah. And in fact, I like to do this instead of just using like Photoshop on the Mac because of how simple pencil. it is. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good example of, uh, it, you know, they sometimes say, well, if you're a serious creator, you're going to use the Mac. But I think the pencil and touch for a number of things like Photoshop and Lightroom and, and video editing are really a good and good, I want good to, user interface. I want to note that being left-handed, it can be kind of difficult, but you can see that I'm doing like a full 360 degree turn on the canvas What he's here. done is he's rotated me uh, around so that it's always on the left. That makes it easier for you. Yes. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's a good little trick because that's, I'm left-handed too and I have the same problem. <laughs> We've got a lot of so now we'll This is coming to, out quite well. <laughs> yeah, now we'll start to get rid of your hair here. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. And I can see... You're replacing it with Vincent's furry, fuzzy furry, cap. Furry, fuzzy cap. And so what I'm doing is just making some light edits here, or some, some heavy edits here that I'll then go back in and kind of you adjust. You could touch up. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of do like <laughs> your little uh, fringe underneath there, your little collar. <laughs> You're keeping my, uh, my preppy uh, button-down shirt. I was thinking because about Vincent it. needed that really. Yeah, I kind of liked it actually. Yeah. So let's go ahead and add that back in there. <laughs> now, for you out there who are uh, listening to this, you should really tune in for this one. We are creating because uh, it's that, that's a matter of debate. It's, pr it's I'm pretty visual. I'm just going to point out. Now, come on, this is creation. <laughs> Says Mr. Creation. This is this is God's work. It is God's work. It All is. Right, so. Look at that. Okay, now we just got to get your hair a little this bit more great. ironed out, and then we're going to be good to go here. All right. That's so, really cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So with a little practice mm -hmm. and, and trying stuff, I think this is the nice thing with uh, programs like this. You could try it and undo it. Yes. And so trying stuff will re it really helps a little bit in, uh, in advancing your technique because you could say, well, I wonder what would happen if we did this. Procreate's kind of... There's a lot in Procreate, yes, isn't there? Yes, and that's what I wanted to note, too, is that, like, a lot of people know it for its, uh, for drawing. its drawing capabilities, yeah. its painting capabilities, but really, I mean... You what can, more can I say? You can put Leo Laporte. Leo Van... Leo Van <laughs> exactly. In fact, that's the sound you're making <laughs> there. That is that is what that... <laughs> Leo um, Van Gogh. I look like a cat who's eaten something unpleasant. There we go. It I'm going to do some touch-ups uh, later before oh, we... Oh, why? That's perfect. It is pretty cute. Look at you. So Procreate, simple. Procreate is simple, simple. For, for that kind of work. Uh, but yeah, I like to I like to <laughs> do little projects like this. And I don't know, there have been times where someone's like, oh yeah, my favorite animal is blank. And then I will take m my friend's like Instagram photo or something and set them next to their favorite animal. And it's just a very easy, funny way to do little memes and things like that, kind of like we, what we talked about. So this is a picture I took of you okay. at our event. Much nicer than your picture of me, which I took of me. Um, this is in, you were at the kissing booth for the Humane Society of Sonoma County, and they had uh, three actually celebrity, celebrity dogs. dogs. This is the ugliest dog in the world in the middle. And you think, oh, Leo, you're being mean. But no, uh, her owner takes pride in the fact that she has several times, I think it's a she, several times, maybe it's a guy because he's got a, a bow tie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scamp the Tramp. Scamp the Tramp. Several times won the ugliest dog contest at the Petaluma Sonoma Rand County Fair, which you will be going to next year. Oh, hands down. It is the most fun. The best thing, and I took a lot of pictures uh, last year, is all the ugly dogs in line to get, to get into the show. Oh, my so goodness. So there's uh, their owners and the, and the ugliest dogs. And, and this dog, you know... I think she's playing up the ugliness. Yes. But it's cute too, right? Yeah. And so the kissing booth, you got to kiss these dogs. I did. And, and they I smelled good. I was worried. That they were all gonna, clean. Yeah, all very clean. They were bathed. So I thought, I'm no procreate guy, but I can have some fun with this. Now, I'm not going to modify this picture dramatically, but I'm going to use very easy to use tools, filter programs that you can put on your uh, iPad or iPhone. I'm, I carry them on both to take pictures and make them more interesting. The first one is very simple. I made it an oil painting. Mm -hmm. And you almost wouldn't see until you zoom in oh, okay. that in fact there's you can change the texture of the background. You can uh, change, uh, you know, soften the colors. And there's a slider. I'll show you the tool in a second. There's a slider that lets you increase or decrease the effect. You can also do kind of a pastel chalky kind of thing. I like I that one. I like it. And, it, and, and, you know, this one's nice if you have text in it 
because the text kind of pops out a little bit, right? Um, let me show you the tools because I it actually, if I go into my photo editor's vault, mm -hmm. I have a bunch of them. So that was done with brush stroke. There's water log, glaze, tangled FX, Prisma, probably people are well familiar with. That's mm -hmm. been around for some time. Unfortunately, Prisma costs money. You have to subscribe by the month. And there's even a, a fun one called Comic Book. I started a comic book with you, but I need more images. Comic Book gives you frames, but you can also add text. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add an image here from my, my photo album. Actually, wait, I could take a picture of you. So let's let's get you shaking your fist angrily. There you go. Okay, good. So now I can, I can take that <laughs> I can take that photo, put that into our comic book, and uh, and then I can <laughs> actually that's pretty good. I might you know let's see. Okay, good. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I I like the fist. I want to get the fist in there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So. It, that's you know and of course there's more you can do with it too so i'm not going to remove the image just yet so let me add one more uh one more image from my uh my gallery here uh, maybe i could put an image in here of you dancing oh boy because you're well don't say oh boy because you are an artiste thank you a true artist <laughs> a true a true van gogh a true van gogh uh actually i could put you and lisa in let's see here um, cause this was our, <laughs> this was our, now the next thing of course you want to do after you've done this is you can add captions. Oh boy. Yeah. You can do, uh, headlines. So let's, we could put a headline. Extra, extra. Yeah. Uh, tap to edit, drag to move. Okay, good. All right. So let's do this and I'm going to tap it. I'm going to say, um, double tap caps key for emphasis. Okay. So Bang. <laughs> pow Oops, double tap it. pow oh, double tap pow yow and uh, you know what i should do with this is make it a little bit uh, a little bit bigger size let's make this huge 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 oh gosh I and need then to stop put this that. in here i know it's so <laughs> tempting and there we go. So you see anything that you, oh, any that effects really good too. you'd want to do with a comic book, you can, <laughs> you, you know, you can do. This one I need to lighten up a little bit. You, I'm not going to belabor it. So this this is a really fun program. I highly recommend. I've been using this one literally for years. It's called Comic Book Exclamation Mark. <laughs> How's that go again? Exclamation Mark. I like it. Color Splash is for, uh, uh, as you can see, for uh, your, your phone. But I really like that because you can take, uh, a photo. Uh, let's get the photo of uh, of you I just took, for instance, <laughs> and you can color in the parts that should be in color. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I can I can say, oh, I like that. Yeah. So I could say, like, I would make normally what I do is if I have a picture where I want to highlight the foreground, or there's something brightly colored that I want to kind of preserve. Uh huh. I can I can like color that in. So if I just want to put you in color, for instance, and have the black background be in black and white, I can do that. Oh, um, it's got so many built-in tools. It has, really nice. and so you know, I saw you laboring. I saw you working. I admit it. Um, see now, 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 just that part's in color. The rest is in black and white. So I saw you laboring, and I thought, well, sure, if you like to do it by hand, you can. But mm -hmm. there's some great tools in here. Brush stroke, I really like because uh, you could take a photograph. And you can make it be any variety of styles, including, by the way, Van Gogh, if you want. Oh. So this is what I did with all of this stuff. So it would be good to combine what I was doing. I drop it in. You this could take first. my picture, Van Gogh. It. Van Gogh. It. Or Vintage It. I think that's the name of the show. By or Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh it. <laughs> Here, I can make it wood. And then you can, <laughs> oh, God. You can tune it up. You could. It has all the oh, standard photo editing cool. stuff. I, yeah, yeah, I'd see that as a profile. Yeah, photo. you could do some. Yeah, you could do some fun stuff. So, um, boy, I I have a ton of them. I won't go through all of them, but that's brush stroke, which basically turns it into oil painting. Water log turns it into an oil painting, which I think is kind of fun. And I mean, a watercolor. Did I say yeah. oil? I said water. I meant watercolor. Now, what's nice? I mean, that really is like somebody took some time. And made a watercolor painting out of it. I see what you're doing. Don't mm. think I don't. I don't see what you're doing. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and now watercolor, of course, is better when you have a simpler object. But you can, if you want, you can uh, you can mess with the uh, the brushes and the size of the brushes and so forth. Um, you can make it lighter or darker. So it has a lot of things. Not everything looks good in a watercolor. This picture probably isn't ideal for a watercolor. Oh, yeah, there's a few But it spaces. looks like, the nice thing about this, if you, I think the best thing is if you've got a landscape, uh, you can take it and make it look like a watercolor painting, like you painted it. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I've done this, I've actually used this. I had a great picture of Lisa on a vacation that we took uh, in a bathtub taking a bath. Mm hmm and uh, it's her back, and it's beautiful. And I watercolored it, so it, it looks less like you're there and more like a painting. And it's it came out so beautifully. I, I, we have, actually have it hanging in our bathroom because it's, it's... Yeah. Here's one. This is called Glaze. And this is more Van Gogh-y. So uh, I, can, I can do some kind of... I mean, that look like, looks like you were painted by Van Gogh, right? Yeah. Can you decrease the effect a little? Or is yes. It, okay. you, can, you could totally control that. Um, you can do all sorts of uh, all sorts of things with it. They have a transparency pack, which I think you might want to use for exactly the kind of thing you were doing with Procreate. Just make it a little bit easier, which will say paint a mask or create transparent layers, so you could have oh. my face shine through on a Van Gogh. But not just Van Gogh. I mean, Glaze has a lot of interesting effects. All th all of these are worth picking up. Just. That's that's for you like the artist who likes to dab, you know, really likes to play with the paint. But it could be simpler. And again, you 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 kind of want to pick the image right and the style right because not every image looks great with every style. But the nice thing about these programs is it's this fast, it's this easy. Yeah, you just tap and you just and tap go. it. You don't have to think about it. That's an interesting effect. Oh might, my! Might look a little better on the one uh, that I just took of you. So let's let's try that one. And one of the things to keep in mind about these is that, you know, the privacy <laughs> policies are... are In this case, you're not uploading it. Oh. So unlike uh, FaceApp, where you're uploading it to server, this is all done on iPad. Everyone I've shown you is done on iPad. Now that's nice. Prisma, Prisma, Prisma is, is, I think, uh, not. Yeah, Prisma So this is why I kind of... And by the way, that's why you have to pay Prisma a monthly fee, which is a not insignificant monthly fee. I, I didn't know that there was now a subscription. Yeah, it's a subscription because you are using their server resources. This is a program you download once and it just modifies it. Okay. I think every photographer should kind of have this, these tools only because... Just to see what else you can get out of your photos. You'd be surprised. Sometimes a photo that's not that strong, if you t pop the color or you make it blobs of paint, don't you love it that they can do this? I mean, it really looks like it's a painted. Painting, yeah. Uh, that this one is That's is neat. isn't that a nice one? That, that one's neat. called glaze. There's tangled effects. I have, as you can see, a lot of them. Prisma. Um, I won't go on and on and on. Um, but the, but there are a lot of great choices. Notice Procreate is in my toolkit, mm -hmm. but honestly, I'm lazy, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I want it to take a few seconds just to get an idea. So the three I would almost certainly recommend. Um, this one's kind of uh, unusual too. I'll, I'll show you this one. This is. I do want to interrupt you there. You said that you have one of these hanging in your uh, bathroom. Your bathroom. So that means that they they do export at high enough quality to oh, be absolutely. printed out. And, and had I had enough time, this is tangled effects, which is a, a wild effect. You took and, that lion photo, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You could <laughs> no. This is the sample that's, that's sample what image meant. it comes with. Yes, definitely meant tiger yeah, there. Tiger. Thank you, Kevin. Yes. It's a it's a lion tiger bear. bear. We're not oh sure. The, th the, th the three I would say start with, brushstroke, waterlog, and glaze. They're a few bucks each, five bucks each, thereabouts. Tangled FX is great. Flare FX I, is kind of more specialized. I don't use that it what, that lens often. Flares? Yeah, lens flare. But there are some pictures where adding a, a little lens flare uh, is kind of a nice idea. I don't know if we really... Who is that, Michael Bay? Who's the guy yeah, yeah, that? yeah. Or no, J.J. Uh, Abrams is Him. the king. The king of lens flare. So um, another another good one. It's, it's worth... At least looking at these, they're, as I said, not expensive. Um, Prisma, I, I have a hard time recommending because I think... That's expensive, and you can get a lot of the same features. you can get a lot of the same features. Let's see. Let me take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you turned your head as you turned the... Yeah, that was a mistake. I'll do that, and so that I'm not messing with you. The nice thing about this, and you can try this free Prisma 3 free for three days, is it has a huge number of them. And actually, I th I'm not sure this uploads them because... It looks, it pretty, you know, you can kind of tell if it's uploading a server, processing and downloading it. It's a lot faster 
if it's not. Have they added new filters? Yes. And right. of course, this is one way that companies uh, who do these make money is uh, by providing. So the nice thing about Prisma is it's just a huge range of effects. Not all of them great, but you can at least, if you see, you know, here, well, oh, that's just weird. That is just weird. That's balloons. Oh, my. I used to have them all. Uh, there was an iMore article where I had cataloged all the different effects. Yeah. And so they had, had me quoted on Wikipedia. Oh, I'm so sorry. For that. But I'm now so that sorry. they've updated it, it's yeah. different. So here's, they have daily releases of effects. There's a, there are a variety of collections. They have editor's picks. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Are these styles or people's paintings? No, these are styles. And then they also have a gallery you can upload to. So you can get inspiration from things that uh, people are doing. So there are quite a few styles, and you can, you know, choose from quite a few. Let's look at opera. Add to favorites. Oh, 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 opera. Oh, 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 so I've actually oh, oh. narrowed it down to just the few that I like to use. But if you scroll, this is insane. So I guess this is what they're doing now is with the with the subscription, instead of buying packs like a lot of the others do, like Hipstamatic, you can you can spend twenty dollars a day if you want buying new hipstamatic. Yes. Uh, with this, you pay once and then you have access to. No, I like that. I think that makes more sense. It's not it's not cheap, but on the other hand, I think it's like forty or fifty dollars a year. Uh, it's if you if you really like the effects, like see with this comic, and then by the way, the fun th the other thing that's fun to do is combine. Mm -hmm. So take this, put it in the comic book, because that's a kind of comic book style. They call that opera. So. All right. Now you've been busy working. I have been busy. What working. have you been doing? Let's see here. Let's see if I can't get this over to you. Because <laughs> I want to see what happens when you take it and you see. He's a real creative person. I just fake it with these tools. So I've been working on. Are you going to make that a Van Gogh as well? Well, that's what I want for you to do. So this is Van Gogh underneath here. I'll show you. Oh yeah. Okay, so you uh, put put me in his sweater. I put you in his sweater. <laughs> um, but what I want to do is share it with you. See, this is what I'm saying is if you combine that with one of these effects, like take my head, do the effect, and then put it in the Van Gogh. Let me see how I... I think that would be interesting. I share the original with me because then I can send it back to you. Oh, that's true. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, and then put you could put it into that. You get the idea. We we, we probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, this is uh, all this is, this fun is a, stuff that you can do. This Just, is a scary one. I'm going to do this with you. Give you some inspiration. Look here. at this image. Is, don't oh. think that's kind of scary? Yeah, Let me do that photo. with you. Let me load your image in. Oh, you have one of me. That's right. Oh, oh, this is another nice feature. Oh, you can see them once. all at once. Um, so here's, um, here's your image. What was that scary one? Was it this? So I don't know. Are they uploading it? You said that they did. They That's how they used to do it. It feels like it's on, you know, now the iPad's so fast. You should do it on uh, airplane mode and see if it works. All right. Hey, boy, you're you smart. Wow. Wow, are you smart. Turn off, turn off the connectivity. We are now in airplane mode, boys and girls. Fasten your seatbelt. And let's see if I can do anything else to this. Yeah, so it is now on. Uh -huh. And the iPad is fast enough. Now, is that because maybe it's already uploaded that one photo? No, I don't no, think so. I think be, it's doing it. To See, is that? I think that's spectacular. That looks pretty cool. That should go in the comic book. Yeah, it, yes, that's perfect for the comic book. Comic book style. I love the background with the the television in the background. That looks excellent. There's also a switch HD or SD. So if you want to print it, you can do. It'll take a little more time. You should airdrop that one to me, and it'll and it'll work a little harder, as Ooh, you can see. Cranking it out. But then it's a little higher def. I kind of like the SD. I thought yeah, the, SD the SD was kind of a little more abstract. Yeah, I like that one more. So you can see it, it, uh, it's not that it's higher resolution. It's just it works a little harder to create that. I love how the watch looks on my wrist. Isn't that so? See what You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's turn off airplane mode so I can airdrop that to you. Yeah, I and want then, that one. Now, you might want to rotate it because... Uh, unfortunately, oh, that's the share button, and it's not. Giving you might be able to drop. click more. Might be able to tap more. Oh, and did it'll you do see them more ones. there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, there we go. So I still I'll don't know why that, that weird in is my. <laughs> I need to take a weird photo of myself for you to use. I think you now have a weird photo of yourself you can oh, use true. for the airdrop, and and I'm sending it to you right now. By the way, this is part of the fun of doing this collaboratively with somebody else. Yeah, I just you want can to share encourage back and you. Forth. You could share back and forth. You can have your tools. They can have their tools. And you can play with it and have fun with it. I think that's really, uh, that actually is a great creative 
uh, thing to do. Yeah. Have a little club. Yes, it's a little... Well, okay, so I actually do quite like that, to be honest. Oh, here, you should try... Oh, send me that. Yeah. Airdrop me that. Yeah, I can play yeah. with that. Yeah, see? So that's a nice picture. So you... So I'm going to accept that photo. That's from our friend at photo SF oh, on Instagram. Oh, he's great. What a beautiful... Po what a... You are a... I'm not going to say it. Okay. A good-looking guy. Well, thank you. That's very <laughs> All right, let's, let's go into... Which one would you want me to play oh, with? Oh, man, I don't even know. I think Prisma. We'll start with Prisma's Prisma because it gives us the largest uh, options. Oops, I, I picked library instead of picking from my photos. Where is it? should be at the top. Yes, you just sent it to me. So there we go. Look at that. What do you want to do, kids? <laughs> Superhero? Hey, kids. Oh my! Floral? I like how my shirt looked. That yeah. was neat. So the nice thing is, is it's not destructive. You could just tap them and go one by one. The only negative in this Ooh. is it's saving each of those to my photo. <laughs> yeah, now album you're just right away. All these. So things. if you look in your photo album, whoops. If you look in your photo album, you have them all. So you might want to do a little pruning. See, that's that doesn't that looks kind of realistic. Yeah. Except a little bit jaundice, but... A little yellow? Yeah. Well, we can play with that, too, as you know. This is Mononoke. <laughs> Reverb Mike in the chat says, Today on iOS Today, it's a bromance. <laughs> it always is, boys. Uh, <laughs> Have you not tuned nice. into the show before? Yeah. yeah, I like that one. That's nice. Um, oh, mm. I like that, too. I like the shirt on that. Ooh. Ooh. Here comes see, the scary he's, one. See, this is... He's looking at the shirt. You want, a, you want a scary one? It's called curly hair. Now, these are just the ones I've favorited. There's hundreds more. Oh, it don't look too scary. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. What's the horse? You want to be a um, uh, Mar Marcel Duchamp? You know, I've always new wanted descending to be. Staircase. I've always wanted to be Marcel Duchamp. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah see, mm. so that's not a, a super. And yep. one of the things missing, uh, you know, I from this it. is you you can you can go up and down on the effect oh. but i would love to have more editing things but that's why you you daisy chain these you 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 get the picture you get it to where you want you can reduce the effect now that one's weird it looks like it just gave me pox yeah i don't like that balloons and berries i should take out of my favorites <laughs> i don't like those at all is that is that how about 8 bit mica Oh, I love it that's nice. I like that. Come one. on. Do, 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 all right, you, do, want to, do, you want me to send you any of these? Or? Uh, yeah, you should. They're all on my album I'm going to do one more here. Uh-oh, I'm sending you this. Let's see. There's one. This is I so this sweet. Is I love this photo. Oh, that's Ant. Yeah. And who's he hugging? He's hugging me. Oh, our new, our two new hosts. Hug him and you. Hug him, hug him and me. So you want me to do this one? Yeah, just a couple. Just give that okay. a try and then we'll be... Oh. Look at the collaboration that's happening Isn't that here. sweet? So you can see the fun of doing this. Get get your get your friend. I'm going to crop it, don't you think? A yes, bit? absolutely. And the nice thing about Apple's photos now is it gives you a lot of really great twos. I, I now, always is do that the, Tom Hanks in the corner there? Yeah, I know. I hate Mike Elgin. He's too good damn good looking. <laughs> So I'm going to just crop this down so we focus on the main event, right? It's the main attraction and okay. the main event. And then I'm uh, that's saved. So now I'm going to exit out into and open open it in Prisma. And there it is. Now, what do you want to do with it? You know? You see, by the way, how quick this is. Wow. And I think in some ways having um, this kind oh, of... Oh, I love that one. You, you like the dragon? That yeah. one looks really good. The colors really pop in that. Yes, they do. The, look at the gear in the background. Yeah. The like, subtle colors on the gear. I dig it. How about Daryl Farrell? <laughs> that one's kind of dark. Dark. Wild horse. Nay. Nay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, anyway, you get yes. the idea. We can really uh, have some fun with these. And um, Dragon think, drop, says Eric Duckman. Dragon <laughs> drop. Drop the dragon. <sighs> so... You know, get if you creative. were only going to get one, I guess I would say Prisma, Prisma, but do look at the price. You could try it free for three days, but then after that, I think it's, what, what does it say, Kevin? Is it $50 a year? Something like that. It's not It's not inexpensive, and yet I have to say the speed with which it's doing it, and you can see now that we've got an airplane mode, it is not yeah. pushing it to the cloud, yeah, so it's private. Interesting. So there you go. Uh, monthly is $8. Month. And then uh, one year is thirty bucks. I think that's probably that's worth it. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the year because uh, 
we're having fun with it. I forgot to cancel after three days. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how that happens. <laughs> that, so I hope we've inspired you a little bit. And I really, you know what I didn't think of, but I think it's really fun is uh, sitting down. Lisa and I might sit at the couch and, and, you know, often what we do is we'll show each other photos, but now what we can do is play with these tools. Yeah, air dropping back and forth, see who kind of comes up with one that you and both really like. If you like. get one you really like, think about printing it and framing it as we we did. There's all sorts of ways to print. Um, we One of our sponsors, uh, Fracture, put yes. prints on glass. Mm -hmm. For some pictures, that's great. For some, it's not as good. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa likes to print on metal. There's a, There are a couple of service bureaus that will print on metal which is great. But but honestly... Some canvas printers, too, that yeah, I've used. That are yeah, canvas might be really good for some of those, especially the ones that look like watercolors or oils, because mm -hmm. then you've got the paper behind it to make it look even more real. I, I should have brought in the picture from uh, oh, our I, bathroom, because it really... at some point. I'd it's love a to beautiful it. picture. And um, I... I Now, the problem is I've been using these tools for a long time. I'm pretty sure I created it with brushstroke, but I'm not sure. Brushstroke, waterlog, glaze. I guess we should add Prisma to that list. Absolutely. And of course, procreate, procreate on my end, especially if you're one of those uh, folks who a likes memer. To, a memer as they're called. Yes. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you the uh, Renee Ritchie uh, free base. It's pretty good. <laughs> well, they already saw it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because movie magic. <laughs> hey, I want to tell you about magic. Ooh, I love magic. I love Zapier. Have you <gasps> know about Zapier? Oh my God, Leo. I've been using, I've checked. I've had an integration from like three years ago yeah. on Zapier. So- uh, I use Zapier, and by the way, they have a free tier, and I did a free tier for a long time, but now I do the starter, which is still very affordable, and I really like it. It lets you make scripts, and one of the things that's unique about Zapier is you can have many steps in your scripts. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I have a Zap that I use all the time. When I bookmark articles or I favorite articles in my news reader, in a reader, or I bookmark it in Pinboard, my bookmark tool, I have a Zapier script that will automatically post it to a special Twitter account, links for Twit, so people can see what I think are important stories on an ongoing basis. And it puts it in a Google spreadsheet, a Google sheet, in just the right format for our producers to take and cut and paste into our show rundowns. Lovely. And this was something that Carson and I worked out collaboratively because I saw what he was doing with the show rundowns in Google Sheets and I said, you know, I can give you a sheet that has just my links with the stuff you need, the URL, the text, uh, the the title, and my comments, and uh, tags. And all of that is done by Zapier. The thing that makes... So there's a couple of things that make Zap Zapier unique. One is multiple steps, mm -hmm. as many as you want. And that I couldn't do with any other tools. That's really nice because I could say, and and by the way, multiple inputs. So I could say if if I do something in Inno Reader or I do something on Pinboard, automatically do this, 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 and this. And I used to have it post when I had Facebook to Facebook and other places too. You can do all that. And that's because it has so many integrations, over 1,500 integrations to applications, to tools you use. In business, to Slack, for instance, we use Slack. I could have it integrate into Slack. To WordPress, if you're a blogger, just look at the integrations. They go on and on and on. Basically, the, the possibilities are infinite. So if you're using it for sales, for instance, you can engage your leads instantly, automatically import new customers, notify your team about opportunities with one step. And this is the key. Anything you do more than once in life, you should automate. Yes. And the thing is, most people don't because it takes more time to automate it than it does to do this step. With Zapier, you can create the solution you need in minutes. And never again mm -hmm. do you have to re do that re boring, repetitive thing. This is what computers were invented for. And phones and iPads. No more wasting your time on tasks you know can be automated. Zapier was built to do it. Z-A-P-I-E-R. Zapier.com slash iOS. Connect the apps you use the most. Let Zapier take it from there. You can build the exact solution you need in minutes. No code. No asking a developer for help. It's dead simple. When I found Zapier, and I, like you, I found it years ago, it changed my life. Join more than 4.5 million people who save, on average, 40 hours a month. That's a whole work week using Zapier. Get more time to grow your business. Right now through November, you could try it absolutely free. Go to Zapier. Dot com slash iOS Zapier Z A P I E R dot com slash iOS. And as we continue with the uh, ad campaign, I think I might do a zap of the week. Ooh, because I think I'd love that. It's so much fun. This is this is the best thing you've ever used. Zapier.
My favorite thing is the uh, ability to filter. Uh, so, so not only just to have the multiple steps, but to say, if this photo has this oh, hashtag, yeah. Yeah. then I want to put it here. Yes. If it has this hashtag, exactly. then I want to put it there. So for instance, I don't always want to post, or I didn't always want to post on Instagram or Facebook unless I had a special mm -hmm. hashtag. Mm -hmm. And that was saying, this is the one you should post. It's really great. You're going to love it. Zapier.com slash iOS. 14 days free right now. You found it. I found it. Renee snorting <laughs> caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is fun. This is I will. I I, I want to encourage people to do this because <laughs> this exact thing. No, <laughs> yeah, everybody do this to Renee. No, I want to encourage people to do this because this is creativity. I think people tend to, um, you know, use Twitter and, and Instagram in kind of a mechanical way. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I have a great example. I have a great example. So uh, one of my good friends, um, so Relay FM, mm -hmm. uh, Mike Hurley, Stephen Hackett, they had an event. Love them. They're fantastic. They had an event. You do a show there. Yeah, I do Clockwise. Uh, Jason Snell used to host it, um, mm -hmm. and I took over for him. They had an event in San Francisco, and uh, we did a Family Feud game show <laughs> while we were there. Oh, how fun. And for my team, I kept like crouching down like a college basketball player <laughs> and communicating with them. Yes. And so we had this joke that I was a, a college <laughs> basketball player. So my friend, uh, Dan Sturm, he is a uh, director, and he does lots of like mo uh, video graphics and things like that. For He... He, um, Beyonce's music video for Disney, he was, he did some of the graphics wow. for that. Wow, it's nice to have friends with skills. Yes. And so as a joke, he took the photo of me. Um, crouching down. Crouching down. During the family feud portion. During family feud. And he turned it into, here, I think the best place to do it is show it here. And I have like the before and after of each of the photos. So, uh, yeah, here is... Uh, oh, shoot. I need to show. Okay. So here are the originals. This is me doing the, the college football coaching, style coaching, coaching. thing, I which I didn't that. do on purpose. It was just kind of like the best way. Well, to you're wearing a suit, so you do look like a football coach. Yeah. yeah. Right there. I mean, everything. Um, and then here's another photo. And then the third photo where I was showing off these socks that we're wearing. How come you dress up for their shows and not for ours? I'm wearing a nice button. <laughs> Can you, I'm just I, I'll put I'm on just, a suit coat. I'm just uh, and so he took the one photo. Look at you. <laughs> look at you. There you are, coaching. And then here's the best with one. With a State Farm side. Oh, this is me. That's brilliant. You see, he blurred it. He did it all. It looks so real. Yeah. Oh, my God. And there's the UCLA team <laughs> listening intently to your nonsense. Yeah, to my nonsense with the microphone. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and that was... That's, see, see how much fun you can it's have. so much fun. You don't have to tweet it. You can just send it to your friend and get, you know, miles of entertainment. Yep. Great stuff. Let us uh, check let us in with pray. the. Oh, <laughs> let us, no. Let us pray before we check in with the news. Do you know that I do that every morning? Please. I believe that. Let the world still be here. <laughs> uh, Apple is. Now, see, Apple get got a little uh, mm -hmm. trouble. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, John Gruber, who is normally quite an Apple fan uh, during Fireball, was really scathing, I thought, in, in saying, look, Apple, if you're going to say we're all about privacy, then you cannot just listen to people's Siri responses and not tell them. You need to give them access, as as both Google and Amazon do, to the recordings you have, and you need to be able to delete them, none of which Apple does. Mm -hmm. now, Apple says, oh, we're going to stop doing that. But they have done some things to make Siri a little smarter. You know the thing I hate the most about Siri? Let me. What is that, Leo? I found this on the web for you. Yes. Make an appointment with my hairdresser at 4 p.m. I found this on the web for you <laughs> is not the right answer. Six results for I found this on the web for you. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's been really annoying for a really long time that while you're driving or you're doing something and you just need to get a quick answer for something. Yeah. It's, I, well, if you're driving, then it'll say, I can't show this to you right now because you're driving. Right. That's uh, appropriate. Which is nice. But if it, it should had, talk it to you. Yes, it should be able to talk it to you. And now they are going to sock it to you and talk it to you with a new talk feature it, it, me, that Apple is testing that makes uh, the Siri web results a little bit smarter. So it's using all sorts of different um, inputs. So Wikipedia, kind of, kind of what Google does with their, right. what is that called? The... Um, Knowledge, knowledge graph. Yes, or knowledge thank you. Bar or something like For that. 10, yeah, yes, yeah. 10 points. All right, knowledge graph, yeah. Uh, now Siri is going to do some of that too. So I can say, 
Hey, Susu, I almost said it for some reason. Uh, what is the height of Mount Everest? And yeah. instead of getting like 19 different results for that, it'll tell me the height of Mount Everest. Which Google and Amazon both have done for years. So it's about time. And Apple has said we're going to stop uh, saving recordings and have yes. humans listen to them. In fact, they just canceled contracts of all of those people. But see, this is the conundrum because those people were helping Siri be better, which Siri desperately needed. <sighs> So it's a conundrum for Apple. Privacy versus, and we've always said this, privacy versus Siri really doing what Google and Amazon, who are completely willing to listen, uh, can do. And I don't know if Siri, you know, it's interesting. Am, uh, Samsung went in a different direction with Bixby, its voice assistant. Mm -hmm. They decided, well, we're not going to make Bixby be so smart about you because we don't want to spy on you. We're going to make Bixby be smart about the phone, the apps, what they can do so that you can use Bixby to get the app to open up and and do something or mm. and I think that was actually smart that would be that's the problem people are having is this this challenge it's going to be hard to compete with Google and Amazon who just know a lot about you and always yes. have yes without invading your privacy in a greater way and even then Apple never play catch up because you're not using Apple for searches you're using Google for searches you're not using Apple for mail you're using Google but well, maybe you are but Apple doesn't want to snoop through your mail so no I, I, see here's the thing with this I think that if Apple is canceling these contracts I think they should still make it something that they do later they just are more for, so forward what about what Grubel 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 what Grubel said mm -hmm. uh, is Apple to do the same thing they do with Siri that they do with voicemail transcription right mm -hmm. now, which is say, I oh. would like to, you have, make it opt-in, mm -hmm. I would like to do this. Even every single time you ask for voicemail transcription, they say humans will be listening to this possibly. And, and I love this, yes. you should consider whether the person leaving this voicemail would want you to do this. Mm -hmm. And they do it every single time. He quotes Steve Jobs who said, "You with privacy, you've got to ask people, ask people again, make sure every single time and, and make them say, stop asking me <laughs> because that's how you protect people. And I, I think Steve had it right and I wish Apple would uh, would do it right. I think maybe they're making steps. They, they got a little egg on their face. And of note, voice those voicemail transcriptions also give you the option to give direct feedback yourself yes which with with amazon does that too with their you can see all of the echo commands you've mm -hmm. made and, say, and oh, you can say that one. was wrong was that was one. right i didn't get the result i wanted why don't i have that with siri that kind of feedback really makes a big difference yeah speaking of egg on their face apple made a little boo boo oh just a they tiny pushed boo -boo. a fix out to ios hey, boo -boo. that made a jailbreak possible on iOS 12.4. Mr. Ranger isn't going to like that jailbreak, Yogi. Oh, Yogi. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. <laughs> it's a jailbreak for you. <laughs> so they fixed it. They did. Uh, yeah, so iOS 12.4.1 is out. You should download and install. You should download and install. Unless you want to jailbreak your iPhone. Unless you out there are a jailbreaker. <laughs> we do not recommend If you're after the picnic basket. Oh, Ranger. Hey, do you did you ever jailbreak an iPhone? No. no. I wasn't I did, one of those. And it was a big mistake. Okay. I regret it. But when the iPhone first came out, you couldn't use it in Canada yet. Oh. And I was going to Canada to do call for help every every month. Wait, and every month you were going to Canada? For a to week do... a month I was going up to do the T V show. Holy moly. And I really wanted Amber, who was a you know, really was desperate to get an iPhone. I wanted her to have an iPhone. So I bought her an iPhone, jailbroke it so it would work in Canada. She never used it because she didn't want to use a jailbroken phone. Smart woman. Mm. Do not jailbreak your phone. <laughs> it does not. All jailbreaking does on an iPhone is allow you to use other stores. And as you might imagine, using third-party stores oh, to download apps is fraught with peril. My youngest brother, he's he, he he's all that. And I just, my heart... I've got does he do it? He break jailbreaks? Oh, yeah. He's he, a jailbreaker. Yeah, he does. Oh, Ranger. He's a jailbreaker. Ranger, boo-boo. So It freaks me out. <laughs> show us your new iCloud. <laughs> yeah, so I've included a screenshot so you can see it without us having to kind of log in. But if you go to beta.icloud.com and log in with your, uh, your iCloud account, what's neat is that there's this new sort of sign-in feature that uses Face ID to log you in as opposed to having to oh, do... it worked. Yes. <gasps> That's really neat. To having to Instead do of typing, typing, typing. 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 
Yeah. So we can show Leo's, I think. Yeah, because I'm logged into the beta. Yeah. yeah. See, beta.icloud.com. And so you can see that it's set up a little bit differently than normal. These are little tiny icons. They are a little small. And it was even small. I had it on the big screen and it was even small, yeah. which I found kind of perplexing. Yeah. So again, it is a beta. It's still uh, getting getting set is, up. Is the beta mostly just different look or is it? It's Right now, it's mostly just a different look with how okay. it's set up. Um, and depending on what you have available. So I see like you have news publisher available. I do too. Not I have everybody find has that. my friends. I have uh, find iPhone. That's mostly what I use it for on the web. Mm -hmm. Cause usually iCloud will sync and everything. And I don't really need that, but I, uh, I do love the idea of what's it taking so long to load news publisher. I, you get the idea. Yeah. So play see, it with looks, it. It looks a lot like it always has. Is um, it available to everybody? Do you have to have a special? It is my understanding that if you go to beta.icloud.com, you got can it. log in to access it. And I it. love it. That I, the, the big thing is you can use your face ID. Yes. That's huge. That's lovely. That's, that's huge. It saves you a lot of time. And thanks to Federico Vitici, who was the first to discover that it had gone uh, live. The new launch uh, screen is the biggest change. There is a Reminders app now. Oh, that's right. I forgot Hallelujah. the Reminders was on there. Now, wait, iCloud Drive I thought I've had for a while. Uh, yeah, I've been able to use iCloud. I thought, man, well, you know what? Never doubt the Vitici. Never doubt the Vitici, exactly. The, the Vitici is always right. So if he says that's new, I thought I always had that. But it is nice to have a web interface to your iCloud Drive. Absolutely. And really nice to have a web interface to your reminders. Um, I wonder... Now, where's Messages. I want oh, Messages. Oh, Messages. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, you can always run the Messages app. Yeah, yeah, I just, I but think you want really a web based. Nice oh, you know why you, you want that? So if you're not on a Mac exactly. or. Exactly. Oh. What if you're on your. Apple. Yoga. This would solve the whole thing about people saying you don't have messages on Android. Don't write a messages <gasps> no app. No more just green make bubbles. A, just make a web based app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I really. Somebody wish saying that? I really wish they would put a messages yeah, app in there. Some of us that. have to work from PC. See, people have, I used to have to work from a PC and you I. You know what? I bet that's coming. Apple knows that. I hope. I bet that's coming. But that is that would be a breakthrough for me. Then I would huge. use messages for everything. It would be yeah. it would be big, but yeah. also then people are what not as likely to be f to feel like they're locked into to iOS. Maybe no, 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 no. It just supports people who are on other platforms. It's still not as good as having a dedicated that's messages, true. right? Yeah, that's true. Um, according to the information, mm -hmm. the dedicated walkie-talkie for the iPhone. You know, you have it for the watch. But not going to happen. Yeah, so I'm curious. Do you use walkie-talkie on the watch? Have no. you ever really used that? I Well, I used it the first three days, right? right? Yeah, that's kind of everybody's then thing. Then Lisa and I said, this is really annoying. Yeah, it was annoying. I found it to be very buggy. My mom was super into it at first, and so she and I would use it. When yeah, we were like in the store together, nice you'd be like- a way to talk to your mom. Well, when we were like in the store together, hey, where are you? I can't yeah. find- Oh, Siri thinks I'm talking to it. Um, but- it always ended up being an issue with connectivity and things like that. And so it's buggy. It's and just annoying, too. You don't want somebody to be able to go boop and talk to you. Remember you those wanna, Sprint Nextel phones? This is, yeah. Yes. This is why we everybody has turned away from phone calls even to to mess, yes. text messaging. It's asynchronous. Mm -hmm. That's a computer term. means you don't have to all do it at the same time. Mm -hmm. You can do it at your convenience. So I'm busy. I'm, you know, I'm standing on my head as I do every morning. Right. And and Micah goes, boop, boop, and I can't, my arm's holding me in the air. I can't, <laughs> I can't. Uh, Leo, are you here yet? So what I want to do is wait till I get down and then respond to your text mm -hmm. message. Is That's the, that's, that's, we're not savages. We've got to do 45 minutes of uh, pre-show before <laughs> you get here. <laughs> before we start the show. <laughs> You're not an astronaut for crying out loud. You got things to do. People to see. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. it's time to calm down. <gasps> yes. If people would just calm down, they would live longer. They would live happier. They would be more satisfied. Calm is a wonderful I will app. never be satisfied. <laughs> they have sleep. So this is regular music, sleep music. And by the way, as I me I've mentioned many times, but I want to say it again, Moby it put his latest album on here exclusively. There's no other way to get it, which is fantastic. Some beautiful meditations how about a sierra above and beyond is another artist that's got a really on here and yeah. you said you wanted to do that above and beyond is excellent yeah sierra nevada stream i like this one this uh good one for us staying on track <laughs> let's see how many days that is <laughs> <laughs> i need that one uh the number one app for meditation but more than meditation sleep stories 
Look at all these beautiful stories. I like the idea of going to sleep with somebody reading to me. Oh my God, same. So do your kids. So they have a lot of kids' stories. By the way, for parents, this is great. Good evening. But this is also for adults. This is a kind of like a meditation, but it's on gratitude, and it'll help you go to sleep. It's 30 minutes. By the time you're nodded out, you know. But you don't. The nice thing about sleep stories is you don't mind if you miss a little bit, right? Because you. <gasps> Lavar Burton does Journey to the Stars. Yes. Holy oh, moly! I know they're so good. Beauty and the Beast. The Rules of Tennis. How much? I don't know how how relaxing no, is John McEnroe teaching you. The rules of tennis. Let's listen. Some may call me the greatest tennis player of all time. Okay. And hopefully not just my daughters. <laughs> you might know me as the winner of seven Grand Slam singles. I think titles. this is great. What a great way to learn the rules of tennis. They're always adding new sleep stories. I hadn't and seen truly, that one. I so would fun. fall asleep to that Yeah, one. the rules of tennis. By the time you get to uh, add in, add out, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's love again? <laughs> love? What's love? What's love got to do with it? The World Health Organization says stress is the health e epidemic of the 21st century. You know that. We Jeez, all know Louise, that. Yeah. With calm, you'll discover a whole library of simple guided <gasps> meditations. <Sorry. laughs> There's an ASMR that, one. That's the sound of discovery, by the way. <laughs> uh, sleep stories, music. Uh, you can learn how to handle anxiety, creativity, add to your focus. They even have... Uh, Really interesting um, uh, things on uh, like stretching. I got to tell you, this is well worth getting Calm Premium. Now, I've been a premium subscriber for years, and get the premium. Hi. Welcome Look to Calm Body. Look at this! Body. Incredible. My name's Katie. Hi, and Katie. This is your afternoon break? Oh. Today we have a Can short we do that now? That's, yeah, I'm down. Relieve stiffness in Here your neck, relieve shoulders, neck. and back. Okay. It's really designed to counter the tension that builds. Isn't this great? I love this. If you're stressed, take a deep breath and everybody calm.com slash iOS today. Beautiful. I'm doing this whole day. C-A-L-M dot slash iOS today. 25% off your premium subscription right now if you go to calm.com slash iOS today. 50 million people have downloaded Calm. I'm one of them. I'm a Calm premium subscriber. You want to do this? I'm do doing the, the myth of Atlantis. Oh, wait a minute. This would put you to sleep. Okay, yes. The theory of relativity. Let's hear this. By the French whisperer. Oh my God, I'm excited. What is this world we live in? Is one minute. Always one minute. I'm getting chills already. Mile, Isn't that amazing? Mile. Is it possible to travel through time? Oh, I know what I'm listening to tonight. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. yay. Questions we will explore in our special ASMR story tonight. Oh my God, that French. Ah, oh, it's it perfect. So oh, oh, you know, it is indeed. You are a little flower. de fromage. de fromage. <laughs> Calm.com slash iOS today. We got a question, a video question. We got some feedback. Let's hear from Ron in Novi, Michigan. This is Ron. I'm from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Uh, oh. And I wanted to make a video for you guys. Uh, you've been talking about wanting to have Yay. more of those for your show. You, so Ron. I thought I'd uh, fire up the iMac and see what I could Yay. do. I'm a music teacher by day. Uh, I teach, I've uh, been teaching choir um, to middle and high school students for about 20 years uh, here at a school in uh, the suburbs. Uh, I'm a music uh, director, uh, organist, singer uh, at a very old church in downtown Detroit. And uh, so I'm in a lot of different places, and I also tend to lose things. So I have Look, fully embraced two iPads. Uh, two iPads. Four on the iPad. So I've come into ownership of two iPads, Ow. both of them original 12.9. Uh, Since my eyes are getting a little worse, I've come up with a way Look here to put Two of them together, four score has a way to use two screens four score and, and seven I glued years. together oh, two cases to oh make this kind of homemade a little thing. Those here. That's and great. And then so stand for the left page and the right page. Right yeah, of course yeah. I can swing and it lets you use two. Here's uh, my editing station. And with so four score, you can this. turn the page. Go down to the Here's church. Uh, there, our sound system has a Wi-Fi remote control setup that I can actually control the levels of the sound system while I am up in the choir loft. And my iPad, of course, automatically connects to it every time I come in, it's great. But with iCloud, um, it seems to be that my iPhone mm -hmm. also wants to connect to that network every time I go there, and uh, that's not okay. So the question then is, how do I stop that from happening? How do I get it, my phone to not automatically connect to a Wi-Fi network that my iPad is automatically connecting to? Hope that makes sense. 
Uh, love what you guys are doing. Micah, you great. You bring something awesome to the show. Just love the direction you guys are going in. And uh, thank you, you for downhill? all you do. And uh, <laughs> look forward to the next The direction show. we're going in is going and going and, and going, going, going and going. going and going. Thank you, Ron. Thank you yeah. for making a video. And you know, this is why we like videos. You could see his dual iPad. That set. was awesome. He made that iPad case himself. Very clever. To do that. Now, Leo, what I would like for you to do yeah. is launch your settings. Okay. So I'm going to go in, click the gear icon. That there gear icon. Yeah, I'm in uh, my settings. Tap Wi-Fi. Go to the Wi-Fi. Yes, sir. Now tap the little information button. That's the I with the next circle to the it. Next to the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi I'm you're connected on. to right now. Now, there it is, folks. Underneath uh, your Wi-Fi settings, you'll see a button or a switch, a toggle that says auto join. You want to toggle that off for the network that you don't want to connect to right. automatically. You, you could say forget this network, but then you'd have to enter the password again. Yeah. So auto join, just turning that off. I do that for Xfinity because yes. here in uh, the air, the Bay Area, Comcast is everywhere. And there's those Xfinity Wi-Fi access points everywhere. And a lot of them They're aren't annoying. connected to anything. They don't work. They're unreliable. So I don't want to auto join those. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to not join a network that you see. Yeah, so basically, so you said your I, your uh, wife's iPhone, because it's connected through iCloud, Jumps is connecting right yeah. to that no internet connection. You just want to tap off auto join for that, uh, for, the, for the Wi-Fi, for the sound system. And, and because keep the she's one on joined it, it Wi-Fi. will be in this list of networks that you have joined. So you just move that into the, you know, not join category. Great yeah. tip. Really a great tip. And thank you for a great question. Yeah. Moving along to uh, who should we do next? Let's we, do the question do next because the last, well, let's do this one and then we'll do the last video. Jim from Ontario, Canada. On July 22nd, my wife and I each bought a new iPhone t XR. 10R? 10Rs, yeah. I can never remember. It's t X is 10. X is 10, <laughs> yeah. OS 10. 10. Uh, 10Rs. No, actually, you call that OS X. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, I, the problem is I had a Tesla Model X, and oh, I didn't want to call it a mo Model anyway. 10, yeah. And you're going to have to learn a new one because it's going to be iPhone XI soon. Anyway, oh, Lord. the iPhone <laughs> iPhone 10R, is that? which I love, immediately after setting up my phone, it's Apple's least expensive um, new iPhone. Mm -hmm. I updated iOS 12.4 correctly. Now 12.4.1, right? Mm -hmm. When I launched to find my friends, as well as Apple Maps and Google Maps, I noticed it was not locating me accurately. It placed me three miles away from my actual location. He's in Canada, so he did it in kilometers, but I, I, I changed it for you. When I checked my wife's phone, not yet running 12.4, it was locating her accurately. As soon as we updated it, it started acting the same way. Oh, that's not good. Apple support guessed it was using our service provider's tower for location instead of GPS. Mm-hmm. If I go outside so the phone's using cell connection, they work perfectly. Any ideas? Have you heard of anyone else experiencing the problem? Yeah. App, so here's what's happening. Uh, there are three, count them, three different ways any uh, iOS device, uh, truthfully, any phone can locate you. Number one. Number one, via Wi-Fi. So Apple uh, spent a lot of energy. At first, they bought databases from a company called Skyhook that matched Wi-Fi access points, not just yours, but everywhere. Mm -hmm to their geographic locations. And your phone can triangulate. It could say, well, I see I see seven Wi-Fi access points. This is closest. This is farthest. And using that and some simple trigonometry, figure out pretty accurately where you are. Often you'll see if you turn off Wi-Fi, your phone will say, well, I, I'm better. I'll give you a better location yes. if you turn Wi-Fi on. That's why. So Apple thinks it knows where your Wi-Fi access point is located. It sees how strong it is. He sees how weak the neighbors are and say, and it says, well, I think you're here. When you go outside, of course, Wi-Fi is no longer the best way to do geometry. So method two comes into effect, and that's cell tower. That's the least accurate, by the way, mm -hmm. because while Apple knows where cell towers are, as does your phone carrier, it doesn't really, and it can tell how strong the signal is. That's not enough probably to say exactly where you are. It can only say, well, I, I think your wife's phone is within this radius of the cell tower. So it's not super accurate. The most accurate, of course, is GPS. But to do that, you have to be outside. Your GPS satellites can only be seen if you have line of sight. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but GPS doesn't work in underground garages, mm -hmm. for instance, or tunnels. If you're using navigation in a tunnel, it's going to kind of lose track of where you are until you emerge from the traffic tunnel. So that's because it needs line of sight. It also needs access to three or more satellites. Mm -hmm. It's doing the same kind of triangulation with these satellites. So... 
I don't know why 12.4 changed this behavior. Yeah, that's the part that's kind of confusing to me. And I, I think that it's probably just, I mean, if there's some sort of location bug or how it, it, it goes about choosing to triangulate, right. maybe, or the calculation is off. But I've noticed a lot of uh, calculation issues in the beta as well yeah. in determining my exact location. It's a, it's, if you think about it, what they're doing is difficult. And they're also trying to figure out which is the best mm -hmm. source of those, of those three. three yeah. uh, that's why when you go outside, it does change because now, well, I know I can include Wi-Fi in the mix. Or maybe it has, a, this is a very possible, the database is more accurate for your neighbor's Wi-Fi than it is for your Wi-Fi. So there, there's all sorts of reasons that can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a perfect science. And I think it's kind of ironic that uh, at this point we're complaining, my God, it doesn't know exactly where I am within two feet of my location. Yeah. <laughs> Three miles is a lot. Shouldn't be that far off. My guess is since you say this problem happens in the house, mm -hmm. is that pretty much what they're saying? Yeah. My guess is that it's not the 12.4 update, but that the database that says your Wi-Fi is here is off. Mm -hmm. That it somehow got mangled or changed. Maybe you moved. So that may be what's going on is the iPhone is improperly trusting your Wi-Fi location more than it ought to. Uh, that should get better, by the way, with time because it will start noticing the correlation between GPS towers and your yeah. Wi-Fi. And the GPS chips are going to get a lot better too. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if it's 12.4 that did it, although it's completely conceivable. Apple doesn't tell us all the things that any update changes. It's conceivable it changed the way it does those calculations. And it, and it could have been like a, a switch of the cache or something. You know what I mean? Like right. switching it out and it ended up being That's inaccurate. Another in important end. thing to remember uh, with GPS is there's a, something called the GPS Almanac. The first time you're in a new location, GPS is much slower mm -hmm. because it's building up a database. They call it the Almanac of what satellites are visible in that area, what locations are in that area. It's doing that, it's it's kind of like caching the GPS information so that it will work faster going forward. So the first time you're in a new location, GPS is very slow and often more inaccurate. Over time, could be as little as half an hour, could be a day or two, it will get more and more accurate faster and faster as it builds up the almanac for that location. Hmm, that's cool. I did, that's uh, news to me. Yeah, GPS is fascinating. If you want to know more... Consult your local library. No, if you, actually, Wikipedia has a great article on the global positioning system, the history, how it works. And uh, there's some really fascinating uh, tidbits in there. All right. I read it for leisure. <laughs> One more question we got time for. Let's, let's do the, the, yeah, the question I'm looking, there. this is Richard from La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm looking to switch back to iOS from Android. I'm trying to figure out what iPad I should buy. I do social media. I read comic books. iPad, by the way, great for comic books. Mm -hmm. Watch movies and TV shows. Listen to books occasionally, emails and games. That's exactly all the things you want to do with an iPad. So he's a consumptor, not a creator. <laughs> Which iPad would you recommend? Not necessarily current iPads in the Apple store. Also, what storage do you recommend? I'm getting the iPhone XR 128 gigabyte when my Pixel is up. So, first of all, don't get anything yet. In two weeks, yes. September 10th, <laughs> we're going to hear a whole new slate of iPhones. There probably, all the rumors seem to agree, will be three. Mm -hmm. There'll be a 10R equivalent. So that'll be whatever, if you want a 10R with the lower cost. Uh, by the way, I love the 10R. 10R is great. Best battery life of any iPhone. Yeah, it's a it's an LCD screen, but we were happy with LCD screens until last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think in many respects, it's just as good. The cameras, fewer lenses. That's one thing to look for. The new iPhones will have a new three lens array, according to rumors. Yeah. That may change things uh, a little bit as well. So we don't know what the new iPhones will bring, but you certainly shouldn't buy an iPhone today. No, wait on the iPhone. Wait on the iPhone. Uh, iPad, as far as that goes. Well... I'm going to tell you one more thing on that. There are rumors, and again, rumors are just rumors. Apple does not pre-announce, so there's no way to know this. But we've seen in the FCC and the European mm -hmm. uh, FCC databases new iPads, which usually means Apple is getting them approved for release. I think it's a fairly safe bet that there will be at least two new models of iPads this year. For the holiday My, season? And yeah, for the holiday season, which means uh, probably an event in October. They also have to announce a Mac Pro. There are strong, uh, strong evidence and rumors that they're going to do a 16-inch MacBook Pro. Whew. They're not going to do all that in September. It's September 10th. They're going to wait another month, as they have in the past, and do another event, is my guess. That's what Renee says. I thought they might just do a press release where they says, no, no, there's too much stuff. They've got to do an event. 
So wait till October before you buy an iPad if you possibly can for two reasons. There will be newer iPads you might want to look at, and including, I suspect, new iPad Pros. But it also mean that the existing models will be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Those prices exactly. will go down. Exactly, And that's a big thing there. Because you, you even mentioned in the, uh, Richard mentioned, like, it doesn't have to necessarily be ones that are already in the, the Apple store. Could be, right. you know, former ones. So right. if you wait, if you hold out just a little bit, you're going to be able to save some money on if, that. If you have to buy today, I, I, you know, it really comes down to a money decision. There, there's a $329 base model iPad. That's great. In fact, you can often get it for discount mm -hmm. down below $300. That's a great choice if you're a student. It's two ninety nine, uh, but it isn't. Doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It'll work with the Apple old Apple Pencil, not the new Apple Pencil. Things like that. But for someone who's consumpting, as we consumpting, said, consumpting, it's going to be great. Great yeah. screen. Uh, I would. I'm a big fan, as we both are, of the new iPad Pros. And you could tell because we have kind excellent. of square edges. That's a, the giveaway yeah. on that, and the pencil on top. Um, I I honestly think it's great, but it is pricey. Mm -hmm. That's a full. Com that's the price of a real computer. Yeah, so, but it is a real computer. I guess that's the point. And with the new iPad OS, uh, even for a consumptor, <laughs> yeah, I think I invented that word. <laughs> even for a consumptor, it's uh, it's it's just you saw what we were doing with yeah, the pencil the, today and, with the creation and the speed. So I love this iPad. <laughs> it comes. To, I do too. Yeah. it really comes down to your budget. Mm -hmm. And if you can afford it, uh, get the best iPad you can afford. That's that's the bottom line. And again, you'll see uh, better deals coming up in about a month, and you'll certainly see new iPads. And maybe there'll be a, I suspect there'll be one lower priced one. They may replace the 329 model. And uh, I, I've heard that there'll be new iPad Pros, which is interesting. So we'll see. What can they do? What can they do to make this baby better? Well, that's the real problem uh, Apple has. <laughs> Is there's not much you can do to make it better. The rumor is better cameras. I don't. Need doesn't a better he didn't camera mention taking iPad. pictures? So, yeah. I always said, why don't they put a camera that's as good as the iPhone and the iPad? But I don't. But I realize I don't like it when people are holding up their iPads to take pictures. It's annoying. I don't like it when I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. So maybe there's good reason. If you have an iPhone, which you do, uh, you can stick with the iPhone for pictures and not worry about a better camera on the iPad. Those are the questions of the week. Now it's time. To don fancy headwear. Yes, indeed. Did you choose this? Uh, I chose yours, yeah. I thought you did. Because <laughs> this matches the hat your mother gave you. I can't wait to tell you about mine. Because you probably think it's just a white hat. It is literally <laughs> just a white cap. <laughs> we wear these app caps for one reason only. One reason and to one reason only. To amuse you. Oh, okay, two reasons. To amuse you and to show off. Three reasons. Three to reasons. To amuse you, There's to amuse me, and what's the third reason, Leo? Uh, to show off our apps of the week. Our app caps, we call them. Yeah. Our picks of the week. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we might both be cheating this time uh, by going outside of apps. Per, uh, oh, I'm definitely cheating, but okay. go ahead. Let's see yours. Yeah, well, before we do that, I do want to talk about my hat. So I'm worried that you're going to cheat the same way I'm cheating, but go ahead. All right, so this, I got- Wait a minute, it has an Apple logo on it. <laughs> it has an Apple logo on it. I, for the first time in my life, got to visit <gasps> Apple. Um, I went to Apple Park. Oh, was it uh, cool? Yeah, a friend gave me a tour of Apple Park. Wait a minute, you well, got no, in? No, 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 I should be clear. I didn't get to go no, into the main you building. You have to be special to get Yes, in. because the, it, everything's open and you can see everything there. Yeah. But I got to see, I should say, I got to But you can kind of see it the, from the hill that yeah. the Apple store is on. I was in the Apple the Visitor, Visitor Center. Visitor Center, yeah. I got to go on top and have uh, lunch and we nice. looked over at Apple Park. Um, Boy, I'm so jealous. I've not done that yet. It was really fun and it's gorgeous there. But while I was there, uh, he said, you should get an app cap for iOS today. Oh, And so this is actually, and I'm going to do that thing I did before. Which, which side is it on? I see it. It's right here. All right. So once again. Oh, wait a minute. That's just a sticker. I could put that on any hat. <laughs> Can you get the over the shoulder shot for his uh, iPad? Because that's, that's the only. That's you still can't see it. And by the way, I could peel that off. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, this is, all, that's all that makes this an Apple hat. They have it in white and they have it in black. And the black one has a black Apple logo so you, on the side. They're very subtle. Yeah. it's in, So more subtle than they've ever been. So you know what I like? It's like the new Doritos campaign. Have you seen that yet? Mm -mm. Doritos has decided that their chip is so iconic, they don't need to put the logo on the ads or the name. So they don't show the name and they don't show the, the, the it's, they show, you, they put the, the triangle, the triangle and it says logo here. 
<laughs> and they say dore it say it rhymes with eat those. Oh my and Lord. And that's it. Oh, that's And that's how clever. iconic Apple has become. Yeah. You know, you don't really need to say. It's Except just, I don't know. If I saw a white hat, I'm not gonna necessarily think Apple. But it's a I should say it's a very nice hat. Like it's got look at that. This it's got like a sweatband in there. Fits my Alex really Lindsay well. always said if you want to find out what the best quality yeah, also T-shirts or hats are. Just go to the Apple store and see what they've chosen. Yeah, they had it, some baby stuff, and I was like, when are they going to get a dog line? Because you oh, better believe. What would you get for Mizzy and, um, and, and A bandana. Yeah. Like a little cute bandana like with a, an Apple, an Apple logo. coat. I think it's you should not, get a little Apple, Apple costume. That would be kind with of With a little <laughs> Apple. I could make Mizzy into the old Mac Pro. <laughs> Uh, so All anyway, right. that's the story of nice my hat. hat. So fun. I'm jealous that you got, I, I, we live, you know, an hour and a half away and I still haven't seen it. Yeah. That, and that was my, I was, I was of course nerding out the whole time. Oh, it was, yeah. it was what great. What fun. What fun. Uh, oh, and I had a delicious nitro cold brew nice. from. And what did Serenity have? Cafe Max. Oh no, it wasn't Serenity. <laughs> okay. It wasn't Serenity. <laughs> I almost got him. You thought so. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, <laughs> all right. So here's my pick of the week. Cause it's not an app. Yes. Let me slide this out of the way. Oh. We don't need that no more. We don't need those things. No you more. have the air power. <laughs> yes. So Mophie uh, has been known to kind of work with Apple a little bit closer than some other companies with their charging stuff. They make several uh, wireless or rather not wireless charging, but charging banks that use the uh, lightning cable. For years, I've used Mophie charge. packs on my phone when the battery life wasn't enough. The new iPhones, the battery life is enough, but... This here, this here. So they're is, branching out because they need to, probably. <laughs> yes, yeah. this is uh, the Air Power, not made by, not made by Apple. Um, in fact, I think if you go online right now, it's you're hard pressed to be able to get one of these. When I put in the order on Apple's website, they said, "Oh, it'll probably be the end of September or early October." And then shortly after, I got the notification from FedEx that this was on the way. So I was really lucky to be <gasps> able to get this. Oh my uh, goodness! So that. this is exactly what Apple was supposedly going to sell <laughs> with the Air Power, and they and they said we can't do it. Uh, kind of. We give so, up. I, you know, the thing with Apple's was that it was kind of just going to be one flat surface. You could put things down wherever. Yeah, and, that's and they, not could, how they this couldn't one make works. it work. It got too hot, I guess, or yeah. something. Yeah, got too warm. Now this so isn't quite as cool as Air Power. Not at all. Uh, frankly, not. But it will it's... charge all three of your devices. Yeah. So here, I stick this little thing in here. Oh, I thought that indentation was for the watch. No, that is for... <gasps> so let me He's go ahead... He just put his AirPods in the little divot. I'm going to plug so this, this in. So this charges your phone, your AirPods, and your Apple Watch. And you put this on your nightstand or your, uh, your on your dresser. Actually, I would put it on my dresser because I don't want to see the lights and stuff. Does it light up? Uh, it has, I think there's a little, see, but that's a good thing about Mophie. Mophie does a really good job of making their LEDs rather subtle where some other good. companies are like blasting your retinas. Yeah, I really, I had to move everything out of the bedroom because there was so much light. I usually just use some gaff tape and cover that's those That's a great up. idea. Yeah, you know, uh, at Photo, Michael O'Donnell gave me uh, something photographers use for their dark rooms, opaque little dots that you could put on the lights. It was very nice of me. <gasps> They're all chamarging. <gasps> Look at that. They're come on chamarging. Now, how much uh, is it? Is it? Is it? This is fast one... charging, oh, though. Oh, I mean, oh, is oh. it gonna? Ch yeah, that's the other thing. Is that I? This is not gonna give you, you know, uh, your. It's not. But overnight, I mean, that's the whole point of wireless. Exactly. Is, it, is you're not trying to do fast. So they charging. call it seven point five watt fast charging, but that's not the. That's not. Very that's fast. not fast. Fast. Yeah, yeah. Um. But the fact that I can charge all three devices at once. Like Apple's, what is Apple's charger with the phone? I think it's 15 or something like that. I 15 believe watts. So. Yeah. And it charges through lightweight cases. As you can see, I do have a case on my phone. Nice. And right now it's charging. I think the thing that I like about this. I love it that you're charging the AirPods too. Though. Is that I don't like to play the guessing game. Yeah. Everything's charged in the morning. And so this way I know that, yeah, everything is going to be charged. And, and I'll it's be able attractive. To, I think that's not bad looking. It's very pretty. It's yeah. simple, subtle. How much? Uh, this is... Hot, hot. Let me check here. Oh, it's a uh, blah, 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 blah. 140. That's oh, that's down. pricey. 140. That's Apple money. That is Apple money. And I think that's why they've got it available. It's available only at Apple. Um, in fact, is how it's listed on Apple's site. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So this is what so I was talking I thought, about. But in a way, Mophie deal. was thumbing their nose at Apple saying, Not well, we all. can make it. <laughs> no. No, they're doing it with Apple. This, just like their charging uh, battery cases that you can plug the lightning uh, cable into to charge it. It's MFI. It's the same, yeah. it's the same kind of uh, only at Apple Made product for offering. iPhone. Yeah. So these are... 
pretty neat, I think. It's so funny because I'm also doing a physical object. But before I do that, I really wanted to make my app cap Mario Kart Tour. Okay. But it's not out yet. But I, I want to mention it just so that you can go to the app store right now and sign up, pre-order it, which I've already done. They say it'll be out September 25th. You know for sure that what's going to happen is Apple's going to announce, talk about this at the event mm -hmm. on September 10th because this is a super hot title that people love, Mario yeah. Kart. It's super fun to play. And uh, it's a big deal because Nintendo in the past has not put Nintendo stuff. They're just now starting to put Nintendo stuff on oh, your nice. iPhone, mm -hmm. right? The first one was um, uh, Mario Run. That's right. Uh, but Mario Kart. Now, my question, of course, Mario Kart is a multiplayer game. Uh, so what I'm not clear Super about Mario. is how you will make this multiplayer. My fantasy is that everybody in the same room with the iPhones can play against oh, one another. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be incredible? With Game Center, we'll finally have a yeah. use for Game Center. Um, Mario Kart takes a world tour, endless Mario Kart fun. Nab first place, but are you playing against non-player characters or are you playing against your friends? It doesn't mention it doesn't mention multiplayer, multiplayer, which would be a bit of a disappointment for me because that's really the that's whole key to Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. So fun. Yeah. So, but I know you love playing Mario Kart, and uh, at least you can play it on your phone or uh, I presume on your iPad. Actually, I don't know if it's on your iPad, but um, go go search for Mario Kart because. If you're a Mario fan, and who isn't a Mario Super fan? Super Mario! Mario! Are, you, are they playing against each other? Oh. Oh. Yeah. See, they kind of... That's that's a bummer. Yeah. Oh, is that some splat ink on there? That's yeah. That's clever. That's splat. clever. Look at that. Um, that was a good tongue click there. Don't know what the price will be. It's free with in-app purchases, which tells me it's going to be... Kind of, I hope they don't do the same Ugh. thing they did with Mario Run, which is they gave you the first few levels free, and then if you wanted to play on, you had to pay some huge I amount, of like 20 gonna, bucks or uh, something. I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to do that, too. So anyway, you can get the first few levels free. I want it multiplayer. September 25th, let's add multiplayer. Now, here's my app cap, which is not, which much like yours, is not a app at all, but... a uh, Dongle. A do, yeah. So, you a know, do, I've shown do. before the uh, the dongle from Hyperdrive that we really like. This is for an iPad. It plugs into an iPad, single Type-C port, and gives it a lot more. And actually, I still probably recommend this uh, because this gives you USB Type-A, USB-C. You can also power via USB-C. It has a little memory card slot. It has a big memory card slot, so if you're a photographer, and most importantly, has a headphone jack. Mm -hmm. But this is new from Otherworld Computing. And it's actually a little bit less... Been talking about. Yeah, it's been a little bit less expensive. Uh, and the advantage of this is it will work uh, not just with an iPad, because it has a little cable, but it'll work with any Type-C device. So if you happen to have a Macintosh with Type-C, it'll do 100... This is the new one. They've had this for a while, but the new one it has 100 watt charging, which means enough juice can go through the pass-through mm -hmm. to charge not only your iPad, but also your MacBook Pro. USB, full-size HDMI. It does have a full-size SD card reader, not the mini F SD, micro SD. It has USB. It does not no have Ethernet. a headphone jack, and it does not have Ethernet. But it's inexpe relatively inexpensive. It was, uh, I think it was uh, $50, something like oh, that. Oh, okay. So... And it works, you know, I was initially a little worried that, oh, you know, this cable is going to be too short to, but it has, it's kind of fun because the cable is built in. So in terms of compactness, it's great. You could just carry that in your, your backpack. <laughs> in your take peddler's a, pack. In your peddler's pack. doesn't take a lot of space. But then if you take the cable out and you trim it through the bottom, which I didn't do initially, it's exactly the right length. They obviously thought about this to reach the type C connector on your iPad and still lie flat on your desk which is great. Uh, and I uh, have used it already to read my memory cards. It has enough juice from the iPad Pro anyway, which is a problem with some of these connectors. They don't get enough juice to, you have to plug them in. This one doesn't need to be plugged in to read memory cards from my uh, camera phone, or my camera, I should say. So this is, I'm going to take this as my travel dongle because it's going to be very handy for USB, for charging. I can leave it charged, and then also for reading memory cards. What is the price on that, Kevin? Yeah, there's they make two models. There's one with 100 watts charging, and then one with, with less. If you're just using it with an iPad, you wouldn't need the 100 watts. But if you're going to use it with a MacBook, uh, the 100 watts will really come in handy. Then you can use it with everything, and that's kind of my idea. 
So very nice job on uh, on that other world computing, MaxSales.com. They always do great Apple stuff. And uh, this is their new USB-C travel dock made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. And that is all she wrote. She wrote it. She wrote we it. We read it. We read it, and it's done. And we're done. And it's done. There oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Rose gold. Ooh, that's pretty. For only 40 bucks. That's the 60 watt. If you want the 100 watt, it's going to cost you a little more. But 40 bucks is plenty for an iPad. The 60 watt's plenty for an iPad. That's awfully yeah. pink for rose gold. But Well, I got slate. You did Because it matches my, uh, my iPad. But I plan to use it with my MacBook uh, Air as well. So that's going to be a really nice, really nice thing to have. You know, if they put Qi charging there, oh, then... Oh. Then how much? That's would you next pay? level. Next level. There it is. Fifty-five dollars for hundred watts. So still a lot less expensive than the hyperdrive. Yeah, that's not a not a bad price. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this edition of the Fancy Hat Show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can send us a video. Please do. If you'd like. We have another one in our hopper. We do. In that day, a hopper. I say, I say, <laughs> I say, I say, send us a video over at iOS today at twit.tv or questions that you might have. That's right, son. And if you want to watch the show, we do it live every Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific. That's noon Eastern. That's 1700 U. TC. What I like is that that has recently been changed in the spreadsheet to say 9.30 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> Don't tell Leo, though, because he'll show up at 10. Uh, <laughs> I like to be late just to assert my power. Is that what that is? No, I'm just... Good. I'd sleep in. Because then I'll have to, like, silly string you. I'm you lazy, have. and I, you know, I go, oh, I don't want to go to work. Uh... <laughs> Uh, what else was I going to say? Now you made it go completely Tickets. out of my head. If you want to watch, go twit.tv slash live. There's watching and listening at that fine place, but you could also download a copy from twit.tv slash iOS. Or better, the best, the thing we like the most is if you click one of those buttons and you subscribe in Apple Podcasts, you can subscribe on YouTube. You can even listen to us on your Echo or your Siri device. Just I just tried that out. For it. Does it work on Siri? Uh, it works on Echo. Echo and Google, I know, and I think it works on Siri. Just say... Hey, you know who? Play iOS, iOS Today. What's the name of our show? Play iOS Today podcast. Sometimes you have to say podcast, <laughs> but it usually works. If you do want to be in our studio audience, I know it's early. I know I don't want to be in our studio audience. It's too early for me, but you can email tickets at twit.com. Listen, I'll be here bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I'll hang out with you. I was wondering what that thing was. And you, you. <laughs> bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and you get to pick out our hats. Oh, if that's true. Here. If you're here, you can pick the hats. That's a good thing. That's, that's a fun. little incentive. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. Bye, Micah. Goodbye, Leo.